Well, good morning and welcome to Rovelli's daily podcast. Semi-daily, I guess. I've missed a couple of days. <laughs> well, I had some days off, so I took them off. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Welcome to Rovelli's. Uh, I am looking outside. It's going to be another hot one, my friends. I'm thinking 100 degrees, maybe. 101? I don't know, but it's pretty warm. Anyway, uh, but it's Friday, and Fridays are always a good day to have, right? Getting ready to go into the weekend, and uh, this is our beginning of our weekend, Friday and Saturday, since we're closed on Sunday. Um, but um, hey, you know what? Uh, today's my birthday, and I'm super excited about it, um, and I want to invite you to come and celebrate with me at Row Valley's. How about that? Anyway, yeah, come down and say hi. You know, if you're uh, if you're in the in the mood for Italian, no, you no. Let me correct that. You are in the mood for Italian. <laughs> How did the uh, Jedi uh, Jedi Master do that? You will come to Rovales. I will come to Rovales. <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, it is my birthday today, and um, I have to work on my birthday, so there you go. But I don't mind, because as long as I get to see my friends and family at Rovalli's, I'm a happy camper. And let's do a toast, shall we? Here's to you. Oh, I'm a love in this coffee. Wow. Well, so it's been an interesting week. I had a couple of days off and uh, it was really nice. Um, went for a drive, went up to Tony's Grove. And uh, have you been up to Tony's Grove? If you haven't, um, it's really, really beautiful up there. And um, uh, we went, you, you go through Logan and then you go up the canyon and uh, you go up a, a bit and then uh, there's, a, there's a turnoff. For, for Tony's Grove and you go up there and there's a lake up there. Uh, it's just beautiful. Now the week before my daughter Andrea and Mateo uh, and Miguel went up there and the flowers were in full bloom. I took some beautiful pictures of some flowers but by that time because of the heat wave that we've been having some of the flowers weren't as vibrant um, but uh, still plenty. Millions of flowers uh, everywhere. The lake was gorgeous. Uh, the drive was just beautiful. Everything is green up there, um, and you know, it's a it's a very close getaway. You know, if you want to go for the day, it's a very very close. It's only what an hour and a half maybe, um, but it was a, a a nice relaxing drive. Listen to good tunes, have some uh, water. Walked, we walked around the, the lake, the whole lake, and uh, it's about a mile and a half, I think, or 1.2 miles, something like that. Um, and there were people on there um, canoeing and wake, not wakeboarding, but what are those uh, boards called that you, you know, they're like surfboards, but you paddle, paddle boards, paddle boards, there you go. Um, there were some paddle boards up there and little blow up inflatables and lots of kids running around and uh, just having a great time. It was uh, very, very cool. Um, and speaking of cool, it was cooler up there, <laughs> probably maybe 10 degrees, 10, 12 degrees, uh, cooler up there. So that's nice. Um, anyway, so it was great. Uh, we could not golf this week because the heat sometimes, it, you know, you want golf to be fun, but if it's too hot, then you're not really having that much fun. So we're we're gonna wait till next week. Hopefully, the what the temperatures will drop a little bit, dip just a little bit. Um, but we're gonna try an experiment today at Row Valley's uh, that I wanted to you to be aware of. Um, we have this giant like um, uh, cooler, uh, you know, like a swamp cooler, and. Um, and we're going to, it's portable, and I think we're going to try and put that outside today. And it's got a big oscillator. It stands maybe, you know, five feet tall or something like that. Um, but it's got like an oscillator, so it's, it's moving the air back and forth. And it's water-cooled and all that. Um, uh, and it should be uh, really good because it's pretty powerful. If you put that thing on high, it's cooling things down. So I'm going to go try it because we want people to still dine out on the patio because it's just a beautiful day, but we want you to be comfortable too. And so, uh, we figured let's try that and see if it works. I don't know how much it will cover out there, but I'm going to go find out because I think if that works, then we're going to be using that a lot out there. Um, 
to to have people sit and relax with fresh air blowing you know and cool air blowing i think that's really important anyway so we're going to give that a shot today and i'll i'll keep you guys apprised of uh whether it's going to work or not. i'm pretty sure it is going to work because it's a pretty powerful blower all right you guys well uh, so because it is uh, my birthday this weekend we decided we're going to do um, the Alex special that's my personal favorite dish and if you've ever looked at uh, look for it on the menu it's not there except for a picture in the middle panel down at the bottom it's the dish that has uh, spaghetti mama's giant meatball meat sauce and then a side of steamed uh, broccoli on the pasta with some pepperoncinis um, and man that whole combination is really good um, I like to cut up the meatball and mix it all together with the uh, and, and kind of fold in the the uh, uh, steamed broccoli and then I take a bite of the pepperoncini when I have a bite of everything and uh, the flour the flavor is just awesome it's really really good so we're featuring that this weekend um, of course we have the full menu available to you um, and then my featured desserts today are the whiskey cherry tiramisu. We also have the Italian cream cake. That's a really good one, especially for summertime when it's hot outside. Uh, that's a very light and cool cake. And, this, and one of my personal favorites, the strawberry champagne cake. So Andrea did that special for me. Uh, thank you, Andrea. I'm sure I'll be taking a uh, piece home tonight if there's any left. <laughs> anyway, so that's one of my favorite uh, cakes is the uh, strawberry champagne cake. That's going to be... Uh, on deck and then we also have the cookie dough cake as well as our chocolate decadence um, cannolis banana brownies um, what else do we have the Italian cheesecake um, I, I don't, I'm not sure if we have chocolate chip cookies I know we had a little run on them last night we'll have to see I'm not sure if she had time to bake those today or not um, but but uh, let's go with 50 50 <laughs> and um and then we also have our cocktails we have the watermelon mojito that we're featuring we're also featuring the cucumber lime mule that one is really really good and i highly recommend the cucumber lime mule tonight and we have got um 12 beers on tap that are going to be nice and chilled and cold and of course for those people that uh that don't drink alcohol we have um, Pepsi products uh, we've got our fresh lavender lemonade we also have our Italian cream sodas uh, cappuccinos lattes Rovalli's three bean uh, coffee coffee brew that's really tasty and um, I think that's about it as far as the drinks go but uh, we can mix any kind of really any kind of flavor of lemonade that you want if you want a watermelon lemonade if you want a kiwi lemonade we can do that too we have the technology to do it you guys <laughs> anyway um so i'm excited because um on sunday since we can't really celebrate my birthday today on sunday kim has reserved a really really nice boat up at bear lake and we're going to take uh, everybody up and um go um, tubing on the water and uh, we don't we're not, we don't really have the skills for wakeboarding and stuff like that um, we don't get on the water that much with boats um, but once in, usually once a year uh, we go up to Bear Lake and we rent a boat and uh, it was kind of it was kind of interesting because they called us yesterday and said that uh, the boat that we had rented broke down so we had a couple of options we could go to different um, um, marinas on Bear Lake and get you know try and find another boat or they would give us a discount on a bigger boat and um, the discount was pretty substantial so we we decided to go with the bigger boat and this boat I did a little bit of research on it and on, on how to run it properly and all of the features that it has it's gonna be a blast it holds 17 people <laughs> so that's a pretty good sized boat and and still pulling people on you know whether there's um, uh, water skiing or on a tube or whatever but we rented a tube so we'll be pulling that around and picnicking on the boat uh, we normally go to the other side uh, on the east side of the uh, lake find a nice beach and um, kind of anchor off there and um, and hang out and we'll have music I got some great music uh, lined up uh, the this boat has got like six speakers that you can Bluetooth in so we won't uh, 
<laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a party boat, um, but it'll be a lot of fun and we're excited. Uh, the weather should be good. It's going to be like today. Um, the only thing that bothers me that, that I worry about at Bear Lake is wind because once the wind kicks up, you got to get off the water uh, just for safety's sake. But um, it's supposed to be calm, cool, not cool, hot. <laughs> but calm and hot. Um, but the water, when the water, when it's hot like that, and you have several days, um, that top layer of uh, of the lake is is fairly decent to jump in. Because normally it's pretty cold because the lake is so deep. Um, but uh, I think this water will be perfect. And and if you're hot, it doesn't matter how cold it is. You're getting in that water. <laughs> so we'll uh, picnic and. Uh, hang out, listen to music, and uh, you know, do some donuts in the boat, and have a have a really good time. So I'm looking forward to that on Sunday. All right, you guys. Well, there you go. That's it for today. Oh, and I want to ask you something else too. Um, I normally do the podcast here in the kitchen, but uh, I've been working on because I do a couple of uh, an, a couple of other podcasts, and um, I've got a basement that I want to build a kind of build a studio, but I don't want to do it a makeshift studio. I want it, I want it to be like nice. I want it to be comfortable because I've gotten compliments of, of just doing it here in my kitchen because it seems home, homey and you know, and you feel comfortable and I feel comfortable. And that's kind of what I want for my studio downstairs uh, because we do some, we're going to do some, uh, some uh, music recordings and different things. So the studio is going to be multi-purpose, not just for podcasts. But um, I'm looking for ideas on how to do it. I was going to get some uh, like lifetime folding tables to put equipment and stuff on, but I just thought, nah, I don't want to do that. I want it to. I want it to look professional. I want it to uh, be comfortable. Because uh, again, if you have a, a home office, okay, if it's comfortable, you're gonna you're gonna use it a lot. If it's uncomfortable, if it's cumbersome, if you always have to reset everything up. You don't tend to use it that much, <laughs> you know, um, and so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to think, OK, how do I set this up so it looks nice for, uh, on camera for the podcast part? Um, and, and it sounds great acoustically uh, for when we uh, record music and different things like that. So, um, you know, it's going to take a little bit, but uh, I'm already get, getting on the right track of where I want it to be and not just do the folding tables and and folding still chairs to sit on I, that that just doesn't appeal to me <laughs> anyway so there you go guys uh come by say happy birthday if you're in the neighborhood and see us for lunch or dinner i won't be there for lunch but you can still have lunch at row valleys come on you guys really <laughs> there's some great food waiting for you so uh and we're still doing curbside and takeout uh don't forget you can always go online at rovalleys.com r-o-v-a-l-i-s.com and you can also uh, give us a call at 801-394-1070 and we'll uh, get you all set up and bring your food out to your car and um, keep your keep a safe distance. Anyway, so uh, don't forget about my experiment on the patio today. I will keep you updated and let you know. I think it's going to work great and keep that uh, outside cool even on a hot day like today. So we'll check it out and I'll let you guys know. All right, you guys, we'll see you at Roe Valley. Stop by, say hi. Say happy birthday, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Ciao for now. Hey, whoop. Let's see if I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs>